Hi, welcome back to Sparks of Recreation. I'm Justin, this is my wife Alice, my daughter Maggie, and my son Sebastian. If you're first tuning into this, what we're about to do is jump in a 1961 Beetle that I bought 2,700 miles away from our home and attempt to drive it to Florida and then back to New York 4,000 miles. We just picked the vehicle up and we pulled off into the next parking lot that was next to the dealership and we're going to show you what the car is and learn what's wrong with it with you. So here we are. This is where we just got the uh, bug from. Is right there that we buy cars, and we are now currently. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. Here's the beetle. Um, he took it in on trade a while ago. He drove it to LA once, which is like I think it's eight miles. He doesn't know anything about it other than that, and it's a little dusty. So we're gonna have to clean it up. And uh, I did drive it from there to here, and it seems the throttle sticks open. So uh, I guess our first step is kind of look over the vehicle and uh, show you what we know is wrong and then how we can fix Hopefully it. Hopefully get here. that throttle to work. <laughs> All right, I guess let's uh, open up, the, let's see what the motor is and maybe there's like a spring or something on the, I don't, full disclosure, none of us know anything about these cars and we've never owned one. Uh oh. Hold on, we just found out, how do you get into it? Hold on. All right, hold. Oh my goodness. All right, so I have to push down on this to get into it? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, okay, all right. Is there a latch or something? Oh my god, it's so small. Oh boy. What a disaster this is probably gonna be. <laughs> okay. So, throttle. Let me, uh, when I push uh -oh. the clutch in, it seems to be giving it gas. When you, huh? When I push the clutch in, it revs higher. And it, the, the idle is set super high, so. Probably gonna have Oh, that's all right. So, throttle. All right. So, let me hit the gas and see yes, what. Please. All right. If you want to be a plane, that's what's going on. That fall off of us? us? I have no idea if that came from us or not. This was laying on the ground. It's definitely some kind of dust. Don't know if it's from this, though. Is this running? Uh, yeah, it's been running. Oh, crap. All right. Dead. Well, we don't know what this is. Dead, you're not. Hey, dude, we're definitely going to need a belt by the end of this trip. Probably sooner than that. Cause she's already cracked and she's worn pretty good. Like, cracked in all the ribs. All right. So, but she's still running right now. Oh, well, let me get a. Hey, mom, you might want to pick your hand up. Uh, let me hey. get a piece of Red paper ants. and oh, a yeah. pen. We can write down stuff that black. we don't know. You got it. Here, let me start it up and you can see if it idles down once it's running. All right. Oh, uh, Dude, something I, I literally only turned that maybe I don't even know it's a couple of rotations Alex? Yeah, yeah. and then all of a sudden it was like something clicked and it fucking that's that noise that you just made what did you just say when you did that well we haven't even left the parking lot yet and we found out that the screwdrivers that we brought are too thick to fit on any of the screws for the idle 
So we are filing down the bigger one we have. I'll pick up a smaller one when we have a chance, but we have to make it so this thing can at least drive 20, 30 miles to a hotel somewhere. So. Get it out of the back of a parking lot. Or the front of yeah, get it out of this abandoned parking lot. All right, so after a quick YouTube search, Luke has figured out the workings of how this works. So we just think that, so every time I hit the gas, it, it works normal. But every time I push in the clutch, it also pulls the throttle open and starts driving the car away when the clutch is in. What I'm noticing, so this whole little arm mechanism deal is not, I mean, like as soon as like I got that tension on the cable, like I still have quite a bit, like I can pull on it quite a bit, but this arm isn't fully really engaging all the way back to where this is apparently how the choke works is this little mechanism in here, so. All right, well, we'll see if uh, firing it up makes a difference. Well, they figured out how to get that open. Yeah. Uh, it has no gas cap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no gas cap. It's, but we got a spare. There is a spare. It's flat and dry rotted. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how different lights and mechanisms and stuff work. Ooh. That looks like a hot mess in there. Yeah, the wiring is definitely... Uh, that sounds amazing, whatever that is. Uh, it, it's all there, but it's definitely not ideal. Uh, so the most modern stuff is somebody obviously had like a kicker sound system. I don't know, they put a subwoofer in here or something? I don't know. Sometimes you gotta have those sick beats. <laughs> yeah. Maybe time to wash it. It's been a while. And one last cool little quirky thing real quick before we get into driving it and everything. Look what somebody put for a gas pedal. It's a roller wheel. What? <laughs> All right, we are about to attempt our first actual drive. Kids arrived with me. We, we got a hotel in Connington Beach, I think is what it was. It's, yeah, it's right near Santa Monica. Build a sand castle. Uh, we are hitting a Walmart first as there's some stuff we need. I don't have a seatbelt. Yep, I know. Alright, let's get this mounted and let's go. There we go. Oh, it fired right up. Oh. Stuck in my yeah, the carpet's, carpet's stuck in my steering wheel. There, my gas, gas pedal. pedal. Yeah. Left. Yeah. And you're gonna want to come the left up here. I think I don't know. It's doing something weird. Why did that? I think we actually need to go right. Yeah, we need to go right, and then at that we need to see the left. All right, I need to be able to see the left. Go. Okay, once you take it. Oh, we need to go the other way. So that was right. made it in the third gear and it's working. Yay. It actually works. runs like really well. It is. It's, uh, it, know, it's lowered and the suspension is complete shit. At least I don't it have It smells like fuel because there's no gas cap. It's just like leaking everywhere. Right, I need to find a spot to turn around and go the other way. We went, the, we had to go the other way, but I couldn't find a good spot. Like like, like, it feels like a go-kart. Pretty good. It just stalled coming up into here, but that's just I have to feather it weird. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This thing's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs>
we got this. We got this. All right, this. I guess we probably should say it so sure that we got this, but I think we're gonna get. It. Yeah, we got. This. It's only got a lot of like, issues. I thought that's the one that you were talking about back there because there's another one with the <sighs> exact same roof. No, it's like just like. Oh. Oop. Hey, going in the first gear while you're moving is a little. Oh God. Try to give the guy forever to ride his bike. We almost I, hit him. I go to move, but we almost hit him. Oh crap, we're still running. We got a screwdriver that fits. We found our prop rod here. And uh, now to get the hopeful idle mixture a little better. All right, so we gotta go an hour to the hotel. Everybody told me I have to get one of these before we leave. And there's already a spot in the car where these are mounted and somebody took it and some oil to get us home. Did 60 better than I was expecting it to do. Oh. Transmission makes a little noise sometimes. I don't know if I'm just like not clutching it properly or what, but I've ground it like twice. Hey yo, there's some horse cattle here. That's a little bit of, quite a bit of traffic. It's okay. It's probably functional. You know it smells like a little burning oil, but not too bad, to be honest. Alright, not gonna lie. Driving in LA traffic in this old bug is a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, I can do it, but the clutch is like so heavy. The gears are kind of like wherever they feel like being. I, I swear to God, every time I go to put the first gear, it's a, diff it's a different spot. Um, my left leg is gonna be woo, pumped up. I'm really fighting the car to get it to do much of anything. I actually put it in reverse twice. It was interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. We started backing up and everybody. Luckily, I don't think it has reverse lights that work even, so nobody is too scared because they didn't know what was happening. They probably <laughs> saw us rolling back. Really like, got uh, neutral. It doesn't seem to be running hot, as far as I can tell. It doesn't smell hot, but of course, it's behind me. In a normal car, I can smell it, it's burning itself up because it's in front of me. Uh, luckily, we have Alice and Luke behind us, so I mean, if it smells too bad, then I guess uh, they'll let me know. But.
All right, so I just drove it for over an hour straight. Stop and go traffic, I took it 65 miles an hour, which I was not a huge fan of. And everything works fine. Like, I can touch all this shit. It's warm, definitely warm, but like, it's not that hot. I'm thinking we're gonna be all right. Hmm, all right, well, we're gonna order some parts. I'll get you a part list of what we order and uh, we'll check back in with you tomorrow. We are going to, we just hauled ass across this whole country in the van. We're gonna take a day and relax before we attempt this. What was your first impression of riding in the bug? Well, the traffic situation ain't great because we almost backed up into a car in the middle of the highway. Mm -hmm. Almost crashed <laughs> because it turned off because it like stalled itself. So. Well, that, that was pretty good. That was my fault because I stalled it. But, you, you know. You restarted it in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think I stalled it because I was actually putting it in reverse when I went to move again, and then it like yeah, second yeah. Was a hard time. yeah, second was giving me a hard time. Uh, we have video of it, but how did I do with uh, letting them know about the exits we needed to take? You almost caused them to crash like three times, and we missed I think two exits. So. <laughs> you could have used a little more advanced light, and then you left your right blinker on, which doesn't flick on and off, so it just stayed on, and we're like. Then you motioned you were going left, and we're like, this is not going right. I don't know. The best part is that, okay, so as of right now, the brakes work, right? The brake lights. Okay, yeah. The, I have one headlight. My right turn signal works as long as I manually go it, up it and down. On, but, it blink. but if I, leave, like, when you're driving that thing, if you accidentally leave it up and you don't know which position it's in, I accidentally leave it up. It's kind of like the golf cart. Yes. And there's a list of parts we need to order from O'Reilly's. I need to call pep boys and order a tire so I can drop the dolly off in the morning and have them put oh, a tire so on it. so when we do that, can we get, there's a spare rim for the bug. Can we get a spare tire put on the rim so if we have an issue, we already have a tire to order. Yeah, I can, I can do it, order two tire. That's a good idea. I'll get Sebastian's reaction to uh, the bug here. Yeah. Alright, Sebastian, what was your first impression of riding the Beetle for an hour? You liked it? Yeah. How'd it go? That cold It did get cold because the sun started to go down. God damn, I don't know what that noise is. We're gonna try to find an exit and find out. Oh. Should I follow him down there? I think you should wait. Huge thanks to everybody who, uh, as they're driving by, gives us thumbs up. People who have logged in and subscribed. Everybody who's been sharing on Facebook, we super appreciate it. Thank you for making this whole thing work.